Our conversations were unguarded and unwise. And because I don't ever want there to be secrets between us. So the elder's concerns were that the conversation was unguarded and unwise. That's interesting because he just said that his wife knew about these conversations and this woman's husband knew about these conversations. That sounds extremely guarded. You couldn't ask, in fact, for anything better than that. So how were they unguarded? We'll never know. How were they unwise? They will give some more clarity on this in a moment. He also says immediately after that, I don't want there to be any secrets between us. You sure are keeping a lot of secrets, Mr. Chandler. All right, then keep your secrets. The concerns were really about frequency and familiarity. So he said just previously, the elders concerns were that they were unguarded and unwise. And then he just said the concerns were really about frequency and familiarity. And we will hear that repeated, too. You know, they spent a lot of time in a room trying to write their speeches, and it's like, okay, these are the exact words we have to say to make things look the best for us, to minimize the amount of uh, impact that this whole thing is going to have. I mean, that's just how it works. You know that happened. So frequency and familiarity. So he messaged her often. That's one thing. Okay. We believe in brother-sister relationships here. Um, And yet there was a frequency that moved past that. And there was a familiarity that played itself out in coarse and foolish joking. It's unbefitting uh, of someone in my position as a lead pastor and as an elder. I'm held to a higher standard and fell short of that higher standard. Okay, this is also very interesting. He says that biblically he is held to a certain standard and he fell short of that standard as a pastor and an elder. Now, typically, I don't know about you, but typically if somebody falls short of a biblical standard of pastor or elder, then that means that they're disqualified of being a pastor and elder, which makes sense as to why he would be stepping down. But we are going to hear later, multiple times, another kind of contradiction that you know, I, I failed, I've fallen short. So listen for that too. I've, I'm, I failed even though there's no mention of sin. And then later, Josh Patterson comes back up and he says, now let me be clear, this is not disqualifying. So just keep that in mind as you're listening to this because that's a definite, clear, weird contradiction. 